Ladies and gents, welcome to Crypto Chat UK. Um, full apologise for yesterday. I didn't get a video on there. I probably won't get a video on every day, but I do try. There is a lot to go through. I've got a big list. But today, I want to not exactly show you how to analyse the market, but it's just to let you know the tools. If you do want to get involved more in trying to speculate on the market, but more in a constructive way, you know, um, a bit more of an intelligent way of analysing the market and using the tools that are out there and some of the principles that are out there. I just want to go through briefly a few lists of them and perhaps show you a couple of um, YouTubers who I've spotted. I don't necessarily watch them all the time, but I have watched some of the stuff and they do seem pretty good. But you can do your research on these items that I'm going to mention. There's stuff online and there's stuff um, on YouTube itself but all over google and everywhere to help you but if you do want to start looking at perhaps using any one of these tools or all of them you can do so i, I personally would pick one and uh, concentrate on that first and see if that helps you and you perhaps could look at some other things as well have a look on youtube and so forth i don't use these often enough but one of them i do look at quite regular uh, it's a relative strength index basically rsi but um, I'm not going to go through how to use them and so forth. I'm just going to make you aware that they're there and you can have a look. There is other tools as well out there. There is other principles out there. But I'm just going to go through a few of them that, that I've seen, I've looked into myself and, uh, and seen from there. It is kind of calculated speculating as well, you know, where you're using some tools to help you try to predict the market a little bit. It's not foolproof. It's not an exact science as such. But um, they are some useful tools, and they do prove to work regular. As we've always said before, I'm not a financial advisor, so just take this information, go and do your own research on it, have a look at some of the YouTubers and all. I'm going to show you a couple now. Okay, so let's have a look at the market first anyway. Um, let's have a look at what's going on. What's been going on the last uh, week or so? We had that drop last week, and it continued. I think I said I probably wouldn't go less than 300 billion. Now... Uh, I said that on Friday, forgetting it was the weekend coming, knowing that by Saturday, Sunday, certainly Sundays, you do get a drop. So yes, it did go below below the 300 billion mark, but not too far. I wasn't too far off, and it soon shot back up again. So we've had it over 300 billion by Sunday night, I think it was, uh, and now it seems like pretty good, pretty good progress has been made. We have had quite a good upward trend. Um, if I look down the board before I could look at market capitalization. If you have a look at it, I mean, it does look great. There were some absolute bargains yesterday. Now, I did say last week, late last week, that even if you bought in at that point, you would have still been doing well. And that is definitely the case. Uh, kind of, if you'd have picked yesterday, which, you know, the weekend's a good time to, to look into it. If you'd have picked yesterday, um, and the day before Sunday, sorry, as well, and you'd have started looking into buying then, you would have got some mega, mega, mega good deals and you would have made some money overnight as well. You would have made some gains anyway. But what I would say is we don't know how it's going to go now. To me, it looks like it has uh, broken free a little bit and we'll have to see how it goes. There might be some people taking some profits out. You never know what they're going to do now. But have a look at the markets. Have a look at the market capitalization. Decide on yourself what's happening and uh, hopefully... Hopefully you've got some great bargains and have made some gains. I did a, I did a few. I could have spent a bit more time on it and made a lot more. But I've, I'm happy with my investments at the moment. Anyway, if we uh, if we just have a quick look down here, we can see we can see you can see it's plenty of greens going on here. Um, I hope to do really well for me. I'm, I'm really impressed with that. But that's going to do really well anyway, long term. Um, basically, a lot of the first page, a lot of the top 100 are going to do mega. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, I'm wearing glasses today. I'm, I'm getting old. I've just been told recently I need glasses, so now I've had to start wearing them. Ridiculous, I tell you. Me, me, you need glasses. 2020 vision normally. Can't believe it. Anyway, so let's scroll up now. We'll have a quick look at the market capitalization. And we'll just have a brief look. Just a brief look at it. See how it's been going. I'll put on, I'll put on seven days, but I think we might need more than that. Let's have a look. We'll just put it on to seven days. Yeah, it's not too bad. So, where were we, say, here? Obviously, just under 380 billion. Uh, we've had the usual semi-static, you know, 
to, for this market, to be honest, moving about 40, 80 billion is pretty easy going for it, you know? It can do that quite easily. So, uh, yeah, this is just here. I said uh, somewhere here. I think I stated it perhaps wouldn't go under 300 billion. I didn't expect it to, but I said it's always possible. Uh, forgetting kind of the weekend was coming up and we went all the way down to about 275 billion it's fine so it bounced back a little bit and there we go we've gone all the way up to now at the moment 346 billion i think it just touched 350 billion so we'll see how it goes now over this next week it's really interesting to look at now are we going to get a change are we going to get an upward trend are we going to get a bullish market i I'm, I'm, I wouldn't hold myself to anything, but I've got kind of a little niggly feeling we're not going to get a bullish market right now, but it could happen later on. I think we may have another drop a little bit, maybe, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I haven't analysed the market at all. I've just got a little feeling that we're not quite there yet, and uh, as the year progresses, obviously, we'll probably get there. Okay, so um, what I was going to mention then is the RSI. Just a few things for you to look at. Okay, don't forget, these are some things for you to look into. If you want to analyze the market, some of these are so easy to use, so easy to to look at uh, and to read about, to research. All the information is out there on this. But RSI, if you've not heard of it, it stands for Relative Strength Index. I'm not going to go through it for you. I'll do a bit of research yourself for you. This is a basic site. Uh, I've just found it through Google today. I've, I don't. Uh, I do look on uh, YouTube as well for some tutorials. They're bound to have something on there. But this will give you an idea what the relative strength index is. You know, it's discussing but when it's oversold and when it's overbought. So obviously, if it's overbought, you know, it's worth selling. If it's oversold, it's time to buy. You know, you can you can spot this by using the RSI um, uh, um, basically tool for yourself. So relative strength index it stands for. Okay, so have a look into that. If you want to start getting a bit more technical, these are the type of things you want to look into. Don't forget, you don't have to use these tools at all. You can, um, you know, just stick to the basic stuff and, and stick to, to buying in on the lows. And, uh, you know, you would sell on the highs if you're day trading, but I would think of long time holding in this, particularly because, don't forget, it's an emerging market. Don't forget, this is an emerging market, so it's a growing market. It's going to be adopted over time. We're going to get more people interested because they're going to start to get more knowledge on it but it's all got also with all the tools that are coming out it's going to be used more in mainstream so things are going to seriously happen over the next few years possibly even this year you're going to see some mega growth okay um another one this is another youtuber as well um well i'm talking about the fibonacci uh, principle that's another tool uh, another thing you can use for predicting the markets uh, looking at fibonacci retracements etc Data Dash he does a video on here now. I be honest with you, I haven't watched Data Dash that much, but he a lot of people say Data Dash is really good. The only reason I am watching that much is because I've got that much going on at the moment, and uh, I, I watch that many things on YouTube and other social media that um, to have another one on there. I definitely, I've subscribed to him, so when certain things come up that catches me, I, I do watch Data Dash. But a lot of people say how good. Data Dash is okay. He's one of the top ones, uh, and as you can see, he's got 280,000 subscribers. Um, so you know, definitely, definitely concentrate on Data Dash. Have a look at him, see what you think as well. So that he does something on the Fibonacci retracement tool. Um, he's uh, there's a lot of uh, tutorials on there Fibonacci. There's a lot of stuff online where you can learn about the Fibonacci principles and stuff like that. Um, I like the RSI. I like the Relative Strength Index. You can use several of these together and so forth. But I really like the RSI index. It's kind of like a really um, basic thing for you to look at. You don't have to necessarily do this yourself because you can look at other people who are doing it and and see what uh, see what they're saying about it. And anybody who's got real experience, that you you will see it will come through as you're watching it. Okay. Also, the other thing is the Elliott wave. Now, this is a chap I've not seen before. Trade empowered. Uh, I just seen this on there to, to so you could see, you know, uh, something about the Elliott Wave. Uh, if you do some research on the Elliott Wave, there is another person who uses it, which I'll show you in a minute on um, on YouTube. Um, I think they use other tools as well, but uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Now, 
the the key thing is about all these things a lot if not all these tools you can if you want to get involved in them if you haven't already it's worth looking at Coinergy. Coinergy, you can use this you can uh, i think you can uh, register for free and you can use a lot of the tools i think there is a payment zone as well uh, i am a member of this but i do not use it a lot like i said i don't have time to look at the markets in that way now and again i get on and I use the rsi um, and I do look at some of what other people are saying about with various tools like this various tools like it okay now what I would do as well is I would also look at uh, market trends uh, I would look at the analysts on candlesticks and stuff like that uh, and there is stuff about support and resistance levels that you can lose use alongside this so think about support and resistance levels and so forth okay um, this guy is one who uh, does a lot of analysts stuff analyzing the market um he, I, he absolutely loves the uh, crypto world by the looks of it uh i think it's philicone i think that's how you pronounce it i'm not sure but this is him here philicone uh, he does do some strange mad stuff as well but when he's straight into that analyze he really does appear to know what he's talking about uh and i would look at that and see what you think as well quite a nice chap by the looks of it and um seems to do uh seems to know his stuff so Get stuck into that and have a look at it. This is if you want to go into it in more detail, okay? This is what you want to, what you want to look at. Uh, another chap here who does a lot of uh, market analyzing, uh, particularly in the cryptos, uh, Alessio Rastani. I think I'm pronouncing that Rastani. And uh, he um, he's very good, very articulate what he says, very clear. So you can get a lot of information off this chap and you can get to know the market even better if you don't know it that well now. Uh, another chap I looked at, earlier on was Ian Bellina so if you've not seen him a lot of people respect him there has been some stuff about him being uh, uh, Shalina I think shilling his coins is he a Shalina so uh, Ian Bellina the shill the Shalina something like that a lot of Mickey taking but uh, he does seem really genuine and he does does know his stuff and I think he's made an absolute fortune on cryptocurrency so it's worth a look at if you've got the time it's worth to look at get as much information as you can out of all this so i hope that helps you guys i hope uh, i've brought you some information you can use um i'm gonna look at uh, a lot more things later in the week so hopefully um hopefully we can have some more stuff for you to look at uh, if you have it if you do like this video click the like button um if you think there's anything else you want me to look at let me know and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already speak to you soon